Hello and welcome to another series of the recruiting management process. My name is Chris Wilbert, I am HGM Success Factors Consultant and work for Ipocon Limited in London. As I said, it's probably the main part three for the recruiting management process, how you deal with candidates and applications in success factors as a recruiter or manager. Again, the main purpose is to guide you through the process, so I won't go into detail of all the features and options you have here. You see I'm logged in as Jane Moneypenny, um, the success factors admin, and are proxied as Tessa Walker, who is a recruiter, and I'm already in the recruiting screen. And we talked in the first um, series about requisitions, which I see here. And you also see that Tessa sees her requisitions. And we talked about the requisitions first. Now we want to talk about candidates. You can either enter here or like there are several other spots. Um, we, we still keep going for the HR professional position we opened. And we see there's one new candidate. So let's have a look. The UI you see here, I would call it like the talent pipeline view. You see there's a talent pipeline, which is more or less reflects the process in your company, which is flexible as you wish, like with how many statuses you want. And even if you want some sub statuses like as interview one, two and completed or however you want it um, as, as you desire. We have different options here also, like for interview central and interview scheduling, I would um, do in a separate video, please. If you wanna have a look at this, there's a link on the upper right, you can click to see the video there. Uh, I won't go in detail for that. Also, I won't go in detail for offer, which means like offer approval and offer letter, please see also another video which will come up soon. So here I have the options to see like all active candidates. So some we, we probably have disqualifier automatically and we can see all the candidates and see like in, in which status there are or I just click in the status and then I, I just see um, the candidates in the status. Obviously there's just one. So we don't have a lot of options here. What you can do here is you, you, you have like display options and filter options, but again, there's just one application yet, so it doesn't make sense to, to filter or go here for other settings. What you can do is you can see some more information in this talent pipeline view, which is a combination of the candidate profile, the application and the requisition. We have some quick options here we can use, but obviously as a recruiter, now I, I just maybe want to have a look at his candidate profile and see something a similar UI which we saw before or which is similar to the candidate profile. The candidate sees here exactly the same information. We can add comments here. Uh, we see also for, uh, the jobs he or she applied to, like maybe there's a job he or she applied to two years ago, we would see it here. We can write comments and see some um, tags. We also want to add him in, in their talent pool with like, say it's like the IT. If I ever search for candidate, like here candidate search, um, I, I, I can easily um, search for tags, so this is quite uh, useful to, to build up talent pools. Anyway, if we would have more candidates here, I, I would just click here and see multiply uh, reviews, like in this like example, I just can see his CV or resume, and like normally there's also a button where you can compare this resume to the other new applicants. So this is quite I think like something basic, don't want to go into details more here. Um, again, the, the basic um, thing is that like, you can use some additional standard and custom fields here. And there also will be permission control, which I will so show in a second. So we checked his CV, we checked his Canadian profile and 
like here there's not that much but like the first impression is quite good I don't want to go for the phone screening I want to put him directly into the short list with drag and drop I can also amend a comment here like good kidney date with the different statuses you also can have background actions and for, for in, in this case there is an email sending out to the manager which he, he will get a notification which says like check up there's a new candidate um, for this uh, requisition you can have a look he's in shortlist so what I will do is now proxy into the manager oh no sorry that's just okay, one we had her also an example in the first session here we go um, and as a recruiter does we're just going to the module recruiting and Ms. Wang will just see the requisition she is responsible for or has a, a role in so we see here the HR professional role also the progress will be similar we're going to candidate here and as you already see it's really similar but she don't has access to some of the statuses so this means like whenever there's something new coming in she can't see it she just really sees what she is supposed to see and this is everything upwards from the shortlist and so we have a look as a manager to this candidate has the same options here but you also recognize probably she don't has edit rights to some of the fields so you can make some fields visible or invisible or selectable or not selectable so here I, I can give give him her rating can see the comments also the comments if, if they change the statuses and so on so this is really basic I can save my, my changes here and then I can either like put them in the interview status which I will do now for a second interview one because I will talk about interview scheduling in another video I will just do a hard cut here planned interview for for the manager and we'll come back after that welcome back I'm here in the start screen of Tian Yang Wang and I already see here that there is one tile popping up after a planned interview for this candidate which is like providing interview feedback and I just go for that um, this is really easy like the UI here is, is not really optimized for for my kind of netbook load laptop it's quite small so I'm sorry about the um, things which look a bit ugly here in, in my view um, but on the tablet it, it looks really amazing also on the smartphone so if I would have more candidates here on, on this requisition I would see them here in this case, I would just see one applicant and I can rate them here against the competencies which are in his job role or in the job role of the requisition, sorry. I also can add comments here if I want to. And upload interview notes from, from the manager, it gives them a thumbs up or sums down if you don't want to rank them you also just can work with sums up and sums down and you save that and that's pretty it um, from the entire process there is not that much I would continue to comment now um, from the status I would just go on and put him in another um, status depending on which roles are working with the status like maybe there is a works council in the offer status who should approve as well then they can just see all the candidates and the offer status and just some limited field of the candidate and later on you probably go and put them in the status higher or even if you have onboarding module or whatever he he decided not to um, accept the offer you have kind of um, sub offers anyway that's it so far 
I don't want to continue here, but again, check some other videos for interview scheduling or offer approval and offer letter. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next video.